गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स हियर रवि आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल रवि टेक स्टूडियो टुडे आई ब्रॉट ए इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक पार्टिकुलर करियर इन इंडियन इंडियन कास्ट कार्ड सो मेनी एस्पायरेंट्स आर हैविंग कन्फ्यूजन वेदर एस इन एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडियन कास्ट गार्ड एंड इंडियन नेवी and what are the career options available and how to join it what are the salary pay package and uh, what locations do we have to work so in this video i am going to cover all these aspects all these queries that several people have asked to me by a email and by personal messaging so this video is going to be slightly lengthier be patient and please watch full video to get a clear insight about indian cost card and those friends who have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel because i am making too many videos on career counseling and careers in defense forces as well as in public sector undertaking companies so those kind of videos will be coming to you at first if you have already subscribed to my channel and press the bell icon so friends let's start our journey what is indian coast guard indian coast guard basically involving in multi tasking missions or multi missions organization that really conducts real life operations from year to year at sea like indian navy task is to survey and also protect the sea but indian coast guard is basically protecting your coastal areas as well as sometimes doing operations in sea as as well in consultation with indian navy so either way you can say indian navy and indian coast guards are working in collaboration in some of the missions and most of the time indian coast guard is responsible for protecting the coastal areas of sea borders so in order to, in order to understand the indian coast guard you need to understand the history of it so the indian coast guard was basically established as an independent by indian coast guard act 1978 of the parliament of india on 18th august 1978 it works under the ministry of defense the indian coast guard protects india maritime interests and enforces maritime law with jurisdiction over india's territorial waters including india's territorial waters and special economic zones how it does work what is works basically how how we join it and how actually it functions even though we are having already existing system of three military forces like indian air force indian navy and indian army in what way it is different than the indian navy so if we look at the coast guard basically we in established particularly in taking mind that in spite of protecting the sea water in operation in mid sea it is also essential to protect the coastal areas so that we can actually avoid any kind of circumstances in which any invader can you know enter into the indian territory for that purpose indian coast guard was basically established The Indian Coast Guard works in close cooperation with Indian Navy, Fishery Department, Department of Revenue, that is Customs, and the Central of State Police Forces. The organization is headed by the Director General of Indian Coast Guard, which complies with the overall mandate. In what locations basically Indian Coast Guards are? If we look at the zones or Coast Guard centers and zones. for effective operations of command and control india's maritime zones are divided into five coast guards particularly northwest west east northeast and andaman nicobar gandhinagar mumbai chennai with their respective regional headquarters kolkata port blair the coastal guard areas is commanded by officers of the rank of inspector general So it is commanded by the inspector generals. So you see, these are the different zones: North West, West, East, Northeast, and Andaman Nicobar, including Gandhinagar, Mumbai, Chennai, 
and this uh, regional headquarters are in Kolkata and Port Blair too. So, these are different locations where they are having presence. So, if we look at the Indian Coast Guard soldiers life in sea. So, in most of the work like most of the job aspects if you look for Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard, they are having similar kind of you know jobs. They do right on board, on ship, under sea and also on the coastal areas. So, we talk about the life on board a coast guard ship is engaging endeavors, adventures and challenging from saving human lives at sea and assisting fishermen in perils to apprehending poachers and preserving marine biodiversity. Job satisfaction comes easy to the coast guard men. Each day at sea is filled with promise and each mission is different in an intimidable way. On board every coast guard ship, there is a balanced mix of officers and sailors belonging to different branches divided into three groups with each group working at respective stations twice for four hours every day when the ship is at the sea. So, basically if we look at it is having a same kind of you know uh, ranking systems just like in the navy we are having officers, commandant, assistant commandant and supported by the soldiers that we usually say navics. So, they will protect the territory as well as well as they work in mid sea like in this picture we seeing some of these people were caught by the Indian coast guard. So, these are the illegal you know migrants which came under the Indian territory or Indian uh, territory of sea waters. So, they have captured, they have uh, actually caught them red handed and they are sometimes poachers, they actually making some damage to the maritime biodiversity that also need to be protected. So, for all these responsible jobs, you know Indian Coast Guard soldiers works in. So, their life is very adventurous. They, they tackle different kind of challenges, she challenges on board. So, when we talk about the career in Coast Guard, Bharti Tatrachakwal, in, in, in Hindi we say that Bharti Tatrachakwal. So, what are the career options? As I mentioned, you can join the Indian Coast Guard either like an official or you can go as a Navic that we say sellers. So, sailors work is a multitasking one, you may be working like guard on the sea and you may also be working like general duty officers which will be assisting the technical people. So, there are two branches technical non technical, non technical one will be working for general duty tasks and the technical will be working for maintenance overall of the ships and uh, all technical equipments like radar, they are having a, even aviation. Uh, you know one of the core in which aviators are also need to be included in that CPL commercial pilot license holders will be recruited as uh, pilots right there will be a uh, officials particularly dealing with the uh, you know maintenance of these aircrafts that is called aircraft officers that also be recruited and also tech 10 plus 2 technical entry through which they will be coming for assisting the engineers. So, there are various options. So, when we it is come to the career in Coast Guard, here the single most important factor for the Coast Guard today are the officers and the men who ultimately meet the challenges at sea. You could be just the man for the challenging sea going career. If you are intelligent and bold and can think with originality and possess leadership qualities, service in Coast Guard is not merely an employment, it is where you pay the most important role and you can play most important role for protecting the nation's interests. The life at Coast Guard officer is a happy mix of many things, hard work, professionalism, risk and adventures and opportunity to move around and visit different places within India and abroad. So, what are the different tasks that you would be doing over there? First is ensuring the safety and production of the artificial island of source terminals installations and other securities and devices any maritime zones. 
Second one that is very very important provide protection to the fishermen including assistance to them at sea while in distress because we know that we are having a very very large fish industry all situated nearby the sea and we need to protect them when they are going and uh, they, they are bringing back fishes no one should actually attack on them so we should ensure safety of fishermen that is very very, very important uh, a task that to be done uh, by both Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard and they are actually doing that. Taking some measures are necessary to preserve and protect the maritime environment and to protect and control maritime pollutions. Fourth and most important, assisting the customs and other authorities in anti-smuggling and operations. Because we know that a lot of smuggling activities were done in the past through sea. Through air also, air we can command, we can control anyhow, but through sea it is very difficult to control. And for that reason, it was necessity to establish two different organizations to curve this kind of difficulty. That's why Indian Coast Guard came into the picture. And Indian Navy is the setup that is already in the primary, you know, armed forces. So this, that is why Indian Coast Guard is much necessary, right, to protect the borders, particularly sea line borders, coastal areas, where smuggling is one of the most disturbing, you know, case, which actually created a lot of rucksacks in the Indian economy, as well as for the safety of humans in Indian side. So to, to actually curb that problem, Indian Coast Guard and Indian Navy both are working in collaboration to minimize it even though we cannot say 100 percent we can carve it, this problem but yes we can do it so coast guard recruitment training how actually recruitment happens so every six months notification comes in newspaper particularly for vacancies notified for officers navic technical and non-technical branch in which you can apply and after that you have to undergo written tests followed by the physical fitness test medical and you will be recruited as an officer or as a navic then after that you will be go undergoing training at different locations so when we are talking about the training there are as i said for non-technical there is a general duty branch in that two kind of entries are there officer general duty as well as navic general duty so the officer of all branches including GD branch undergo naval orientation course at Indian Naval Academy Azimala in Kerala for 22 weeks. On successful completion, the GD officers are deputed for a flot training for 24 weeks which is followed by 16 week of phase 2 a flot training on CG ship coast guard ships at various locations. So after this the officer undergo seamanship board exam to assist their nautical skills those who qualify the board are deputed for technical courses at various training establishments for 43 weeks they are for four watch keeping certificate the officers are posted on board coast guard ships for six months so this is the rigorous training procedure to become an officer in the coast guard services general duty uh, in which pilots will also become nautical officers will also come the training for GD pilot nautical branch officers is akin to GD officers until the award of watch keeping certificate after award of the watch keeping certificate the pilot branch officers are called for aviation medicals at Delhi and deputed for flying training to Air Force Academy and Civil Flying Academy for six months for phase one training keep in mind so after this phase the pilots are bifurcated into the fixed or rotary wing branches and accordingly deputy deputed to coast guard flying training squadrons daman helicopter training school rajali respectively on successful completion of the officers are awarding the wings so particularly for pilots they will be trained at indian air force academy and after that they, their core will be decided at the fixed wing or rotary wing based on the fixed wing and rotary wing they will be further undergo training 
right uh, flying training squad in Daman or helicopter training. So, helicopter training comes under the rotary wing, uh, you know, and fixed wing means your aircrafts. So, the aircraft uh, flying will come under the fixed wing, a rotary wing helicopter. Four different, uh, you know, establishments are there under which they will go training and after that they will be award the wings. For technical branch, the technical branch officials are on completion of naval orientation course at Ajimala are deputed to INS Sevaji or INS Balsara for engineering and electrical branches specialization courses. The duration varies from 105 to 110 weeks of training and includes 24 weeks of watch keeping, competency certificate training, on board a coaster guard ship. On completion of this phase, they are deputed for staff appointment. The selected technical officials are also deputed for aviation technical courses as super specialization after four years of services. So, some of those technical officials can also be deputed, can go in aviation corps also. So, these are for permanent commission officials. There are also one more vacancy called short service commission, particularly that comes for women candidate. The short service women officials are on completion of naval orientation courses in a Ajimala are deputed for various technical courses at different coast guard or naval training establishments including three phase of on job training spread over a, over a period of 70 weeks. If we talk about the short service commission those who are having a commercial pilot license holders particularly for them also short service commission opportunities there in, in the Indian Coast Guard. The short service commission officers who are having CPL holders on completion of the naval orientation course at INA Ajimala are deputed for the Coast Guard technical courses at Coast Guard training establishment. A stream distribution is carried out at this stage and officers are deputed to Coast Guard flying training squad and Daman or helicopter training institutes. Rajali for Donier helicopter training respectively for approximately 6 month duration. As I said that there are two wings right fixed wing and rotary wing. So, fixed wings for aircraft and for rotary means helicopter training institute they will be going and undergo. This is for the uh, officer of vacancy right permanent commission and short service commission. If we talk about the sellers who are going to assist for sellers that we say Navic Indian Coast Guard Navic general duty. So, Indian Coast Guard Navic general duty after 10 plus 2 qualification and a yantrik that is diploma holders are trained at INS Chilka for 24 and 9 weeks training respectively 24 week for 10 plus 2 qualified and 9 week for the diploma holders. Yantriks thereafter are deputed to uh, Coast Guard ships for a flood training of 3 months followed by technical training at INS Sivaji or INS Valsara or NIAT Naval Institute of Aviation Technology, SIP Wright School spanning 90 to 100 weeks depending upon the branches. The branch, the GD Navix post branch allocation at INS Chilka are deputed for airflow training of 3 months followed by cadre training. This training depends upon the cadre and varies from 4 to 6 months. Similarly, if we look at the Indian Coast Guard Navic domestic branch, technical branch we have said, general duty also we have seen. Now, it is the Indian Coast Guard Navic domestic branch. The Navic domestic branch undergo 15 weeks training at INS Chilka followed by 3 months effort training and approximately uh, 6 months of tra branch training at INS Hamla at Mumbai. So, these are the different durations right for different kind of vacancies let like we started with the officers then in Navic also two kind of vacancies are general duty and domestic branch. In Navic there is a technical uh, uh, you know core also technical people can also go in aviation core depending on their skill depending on the branch allocation. Finally, I would say all of you are requested to prepare yourself if you are having this kind of ability, leadership quality, boldness to serve the nation, then you are having two opportunities, right, why which you can enter into the naval production, one is via Indian Navy, 
or second is opposite is Indian cost car. So, you can you can join either via these two branches and you can support and protect our sea lion borders. So, I would request think about this career option as well. This is a golden opportunity if you just 10 plus 2 you can go with technical branch or non-technical branch if you are if you want to become an officer for that graduation is mandatory graduation in any discipline and you can apply at least in 10 plus 2 you should have physics chemistry and math right that is mandatory and you can apply for officer either as general duty non-technical or technical that's all i i hope your concept might have cleared if still if you are having any doubt feel free to write in the comment section for today this much is enough and especially those friends who have not subscribed to my channel yet do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon see you in the next video with a new topic thank you very much have a nice day good day